actually from the outside it looks completely normal um, but obviously sort of hiding here behind the uh, the attractive uh, big granny pantry um, is, uh, is my stoma bag um, I'm just going to peel it to there to preserve my dignity um, but this is what happens um, quite regularly um, and then it well, basically uh, gets very full um, people don't know about it, some people do um, and it's not the stoma bag that means I can't live a full life um, it's the, uh, the illness that surrounds it although the stoma bag doesn't help um, but a lot of people have hidden disabilities and uh, I think sometimes in this country we're, we're not very tolerant even of those who, who have disabilities that we can see anyway I'm just going to go to the loo and I shall, uh, I shall talk more um, about my day and, and that after this so this is about the, well, the sixth time since I changed the bag this morning um, and uh, there'll be quite a lot more times to come um, people wonder why I sit down um, to eat, um, especially when we go out. And uh, before I know it, I'm uh, I'm I'm getting up um, because uh, when I start to eat, everything starts to work, and this is the result. Anyway, talk to you later. <sighs> okay, um, it's actually now ten to five. Um, it's dark already um, and uh, it's uh, a lot uh, later than, uh, than when I, I, I spoke to you last um, and uh, well I, uh, I just wanted to, uh, to firstly to show you my stoma bag um, actually I have already um, been to the loom um, so right now um, there's probably not um, a great deal to see um, but this, for the record, is, is it. Um, basically, uh, I managed to cut my head off before when I was filming. Um, and I hope that uh, perhaps the two could be edited together somehow. Um, but I, I wanted to... I guess the bathroom is a, as good a place as any. Um, my husband's watching the rugby downstairs. Um, which which he enjoyed um, and I just wanted to talk a bit about my day um, our day um, this morning um, we found out that uh, a friend of uh, Chris is a very close friend um, from university um, had passed away in the night um, she had a, a brain tumour um, it she'd been ill for many years I think she's well, she's 38 um, possibly even 39 um, and, uh, and and same as my husband um, he's 39 and um, I think she actually had the brain tumour for at least 15 maybe longer years even while she was at university um, and uh, the thing is is just a few months ago um, we all met up for, uh, for, for lunch um, and it was really really nice um, and, uh, and we met at the cafe um, and I was on crutches, I had broken my leg um, because I, uh, I have uh, osteoporosis um, which is a complication of my steroid therapy um, and uh, it just made me think, really, today, again, about how precious life is and about how we're sometimes um, too quick to judge. Um, people, although she had to shave her hair because of the operation she'd had on her scalp uh, and she was obviously thin, she, she otherwise didn't look ill. She used to smoke and drink and, and enjoy herself. I don't think she could drink. Um, the last couple of years, but um, but she, uh, you know, she sometimes people used to think she was drunk um, because she would fall over in the street or she'd be a bit confused. So her husband was always with her, um, but um, but my husband compares us sometimes to, to their situation. Um, I, I have a chronic 
illness um, but I have just learned to possibly come back it's not cancer it's not the big C it's not anything that, that um, most people have heard of so people say oh thank goodness it's not cancer but maybe if it was cancer I'd, I'd know where I stood that sounds terrible to say but uh, I'd know um, that I could be treated um, or not as the case may be um, but uh, my illness is called vasculitis it's an autoimmune disease um, and hence the stoma bag they keep taking bits away um, but I you know apart from the back and the leg and a few other bits and bobs I'm fine I don't want my life to be defined by illness um, but I sometimes think people are not very tolerant of those with hidden disabilities in particular um, okay so it's ten past five now and my husband is probably going to give up on me when doing what I've got up to um, I just wanted to finish off what I was saying um, in that um, the fact that our friend passed away this morning just makes me think um, how short life is. Um, she really did live life to the full as much as she could. And, um, it, you know, it's difficult when you have an illness because people say, oh, aren't you brave? Oh, I think you're fantastic. Um, but they really have no idea. Um, unless you've been through a, 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 you know, an illness or treatment, um, you know, some just say, oh, I've got to go for a blood test. Um, to them it's a big deal, but people who have to have lots of treatments get used to it. Um, and it sounds really bad. Um, I guess that I'm just trying to say that I don't want to be defined by my illness, but sometimes um, my illness defines me. Um, I was 32 when I was diagnosed with vasculitis. I'll be 39 um, next month. Um, in fact, pretty much next month, yesterday. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we really want to have children, but I don't know if I have the energy. I don't know if I'm strong enough. Um, I keep saying I have to get myself well. Um, and then we need to find some donor eggs as well. So that's another problem, but uh, one bridge at a time, uh, <laughs> lots of bridges to cross, um, and uh, yeah, just keep positive, I suppose. Um, people have no idea. I, I hate my stoma. I hate my stoma bag. I hate dealing with it. I hate waking up in the middle of the night with a leak. I hate waking up like I did at 8 o'clock this morning with the bed sheet soiled, with it all down my pyjamas, with it everywhere. Um, I hate sitting on the toilet for hours, but as you see it's become my second home, so why not? Um, I hate self-injecting. I hate taking medication. People say, oh, oh, I can't take pills. If you had to take pills to keep yourself alive, you would, believe me, because I want to live. I, I want to enjoy life. But today's been a good day. We didn't Skype my brother. Um, we tried and he texted me from Australia to cancel to say um, that uh, they were out later than they expected and they needed to get the girls um, who were four and two to bed. Um, so that's typical of my, my brother. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure he really cared. It's very strange, we've not spoken in two months almost and I've been in hospital, my husband's had an operation um, he's wandering around on crutches now, bless him and I'm being nursed, which is quite interesting, we're all reversal um, anyway, I, uh, I, uh, I, that's probably all I, all I wanted to say um, we saw a house today, um, we went to view a house but um, even at, you know, I don't think we can afford it. Um, our, our budget is set at a limit, and this house is a hundred, nearly a hundred thousand more than our budget, and that's reduced. That's an offer. 
I don't think we can afford it. But it's all done. Everything is, is done. We wouldn't have any mess. As you can see, we have a, a beautiful kind of avocado bathroom here. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, I'm, I'm rambling. Um, yeah, so, and then we had some coffee in town, um, which was nice, and shared a piece of cake. Um, it was lovely to get out. My poor husband's getting cabin fever, but at least... Okay, so I just wanted to finish off um, and say, yes, we, we went out today. Um, it's been a really good day. Um, the sun shone um, and, uh, and so I took my husband out um, because he, uh, he had an operation two weeks ago. He's on crutches. Um, and uh, we had um, coffee, uh, shared a piece of cake. Um, it was really, really nice. And uh, he was getting cabin fever. Um, I'm used to being at home. Um, and uh, I'd, like I said, when you, you're ill, you, you get used to things. Things become part of your life. Um, but you forget that you have to get up several times in the night. People don't see that you're uncomfortable because your stoma bag is itching, because it might be leaking in a public place, um, running down your leg. Um, or like it was this morning, all over my pyjamas. Um, I had a slightly better night's sleep, um, but uh, ended up uh, covered in poo, which wasn't very nice, on the bed sheets, which I've still got to change. Um, so people don't realise. People are very shallow. Um, it's all about keeping up appearances. Um, but I didn't choose to cut my hair short. A lot of it fell out and I had to re regrow it. Um, but I get embarrassed. Um, I didn't choose the fact that um, I, have, uh, I have a droopy eye um, because uh, last year when they put the central line in, they, um, they, they, they hit a nerve and it's not really healed. But on the other hand, I see so many people when I'm in the ambulance, um, when I'm in the hospital transport and they're so much worse than I am and then I think I'm so grateful that I can still have a life I can still get out and do things and have some independence which is fantastic but there are other people like um, we you know we were at a wedding this summer and I just felt so small and so out of it because the girls were all preening themselves and doing their hair and people care about cosmetic surgery. I mean, who needs cosmetic surgery when you can have the scars that I have and have your stomach cut and, you know, so many times, eight times, nine times. I can probably just show you this, you may be able to see, but you can't see the scars. But the scars go right down my stomach, gosh. I think my stoma bag's filling up again. Yeah, this is what I carry around with me every single day. Um, and, and this is my stomach. But, you know, life's too short to worry about what we look like. Um, but yet, yeah, well, somehow I, I still do. I, I still worry. Um, I still try to look nice because no one knows. People see me and if I'm travelling on public transport, they could knock me over easily, but I wouldn't let them. Um, I, uh, I'm glad I have a voice. Um, but a lot of people are more vulnerable than me. Um, they have hidden disabilities and they all visible ones. And they don't have a voice. And that's a real shame. Um, anyway, I might say a bit more later. Or I might record me cooking, or I might record the cat. Or, you know, I just wanted to... Uh, to catch up really. Um, anyway, it's 5 30 and uh, I'm missing my husband, so I'm going back downstairs to see him.